What's up everybody? We've just launched our uh, fourth sketch drop and uh, this one's Whitetail Deer. We've got nine sketches out and we're really excited about them. We've seen a lot of sales already, so we're happy to offer these. Um, I haven't always sold my sketches, even though people have asked, but I thought what I would do now is sit down and kind of tell some of the back end behind the scenes story for each one of these things because each sketch has a unique purpose, pattern, story behind it that you guys might find interesting. So. I'm just gonna roll through them and uh, tell you a little bit more about each one of these. Um, this one here, this jumping whitetail, um, I needed a, a piece when I did the anatomy and physiology, I wanted two symmetrical deer jumping into the middle, moving into the middle, and I wanted it to show off their, their muscles, their anatomy, so I did this one here. Um, it fit into the right side of, of the print, and also um, this is actually featured on a Hunting Public t-shirt that just dropped now, so you can get that one there too. Um, the other side of that same print was this one, this buck making a scrape. Um, I actually flipped them so they faced into each other, but you know, bucks making a scrape offer a ton of angles, agility, um, they show kind of their brute force, and I really, I think that's cool as an artist and as, as a deer hunter. And this one went on the opposite side of that other one. This one you can also get on a hunting public t-shirt. Um, this buck here, uh, making a scrape, another one making a scrape, but more of a frontal shot. This was actually featured in uh, the growth and maturity print. It ran on some Osseoak apparel but I really liked the angle of the buck. I like the way he's showing off his rack and hitting that licking branch. Uh, but this one is one that I would have done when I was really hitting sketch dailies hard um, a couple years ago. This one here, this buck making a rub. This is one that I custom created for our newest antler print. We wanted a section on why deer have darker antlers, why, what colors their antlers. And what we learned from some of the NDA guys is older mature bucks that make a lot of rubs and rub um, saplings of, of pine trees, cedars. What they rub and how much they rub depends a lot on um, how dark their rack is. So I did a buck rubbing a little cedar tree here for that one. It's also on a hunting public t-shirt. So we've got a lot of cool apparel dropping with the hunting public um, right now. This one here was one that I did back in the day for Sketch Drop, uh, no, for, for my Sketch Daily, and we're featuring it in Sketch Drop now. But this is just a really good quartering shot. I like some of the angles um, in the buck. I liked some of the kind of quick, loose sketching um, pencil marks that I did with this one. Um, and that one was in our growth and maturity print. This one here is actually, um, this is my booner actually, that's right back here if you can see it. This is a, a sketch that I did of that deer for Outdoor Life. They did a little feature right up on the deer. Um, and this is a piece that I did of him that kind of helped tell that story of, of when I shot that deer. This one here, speaking of hunting public art, um, this is another one that's on the hunting public. And this is kind of a cool, uh, cool sketch. I've always liked this one. Um, it's a buck. He's obviously ducking the arrow, which we have more YouTube videos and stuff on that. But we had a section of how, how deer react when they're spooked. And one of those is ducking, which a lot of times ducks an arrow. And um, so I wanted, it's, it's a, a cool, fun concept is me, for me to illustrate and something that's not always easy to do. So getting his anatomy right, the, the musculature, the movement was a challenge here, but I like that one. And this one here is done for, um, this was a, I believe that's the two and a half year old that I sketched for the growth and maturity print. Um, we needed, a, we had a section based on, on bucks moving and about how they're active during the rut. And so I sketched this buck. Um, you know, obviously he's, he's spooked running through the grass, but I liked to show the back legs um, where all his, his force comes from and just that, that long stride on that buck. So that one's been a cool one. And then last but not least is are these two fighting bucks that I sketched just for Sketch Drop. We haven't released this anywhere else. But one of the challenges about fighting deer, I did this in the, the recent antler print, but one of the challenges about fighting bucks is they're stretched very horizontally. And so it's, it's a challenge to find a good position that shows the deer well in a, in a box, sort of like this. 
usually you're staring right up one's butt or you can't see the other deer's face. And so I had to kind of take some, um, some artistic freedom in getting these bucks posed in a way that would fit within an eight by 10 rectangle and not be stretched way out vertically. So these are available right now at ryankirby.com. They're gonna be available through November 5th. And then once they're gone, they're gone. So they've been really popular so far and we're proud to have them. But I uh, just thought you guys might like to know some of the behind the scenes story in each of these sketches. Um, each one has a story. Each one was created for a specific purpose and now we're offering them for sale at ryankirby.com.